Good morning, everybody. Morning, guys. Having a bittersweet morning, finally saying goodbye to Rome. It was so sad driving today. We left our Airbnb and uh, we came over to the Termini train station. Yeah, we're going to see uh, it's 180 miles up to Florence, so a three hour car ride, but high speed Italian train says it can get us there in an hour and a half. <laughs> How fast you say they go? Uh, they go 155 miles per hour. Ooh. I know. 155 miles an hour. So we're going to see if we can navigate through this massive train station, find our train, find our platform, and find our way to Florence. Yep. Let's go. See you when we get there. We are Crystal and Terry, and in the spring of 2021, we decided to leave our full-time jobs and dedicate one year of our life to full-time travel. Since then, we've been driving all around the U.S. and have had some really great adventures. But now, it's time for a change. For the next several months, we will be exploring some of the great sights and cities of Italy. We are very excited about this next chapter in our lives, and we hope that you'll subscribe to our channel and join us as we leave the life we've always known to live the life of our dreams. We made it on the train, woohoo! So that's a tunnel, just so you know. <laughs> but we actually paid for the first class ticket or what's known as the club access um, train ticket, which means we're in the first train car. And there's only 15 people on our coach. And then eight of the seats are like in their own little compartment. So that's pretty cool. Terry and I are sitting next to the luggage and we have our own little, I don't know, we're facing each other. So that's kind of cool. Um, with the club ticket, you actually get access to their lounge in the train station where there's snacks. We had coffee and little pastries. And then we weren't expecting this, but they already served us lunch on the train itself. So we got a ham sandwich, um, some waters and Terry got cookies of course <laughs> and then they've been really super um, diligent with like the sanitation and stuff um, they've already given us hand sanitizer gel they gave us hand wipes they've made sure that we're all wearing the proper masks so we have to have the FFP2 masks which is basically like an N95 or KN95 in the States um, they checked our green passes and everything's going good so we've got about an hour left to get to Florence and um, I think the rest of this trip is going to be great. See you there. was a raging success I would highly recommend it to anyone and the train station in Rome was fantastic all the signs were pretty much in Italian and English so I would uh, like I said I'd recommend that if you want to do a day trip to Florence or if you're coming up to stay in our case we're here to stay mm -hmm. and instead of having a spacious modern apartment like we had in Rome we're going for something a little cozier and rustic and Crystal has found the perfect spot let's go take a look about the 
the rustic, charming apartment in Florence, there's no elevator and we are on the top floor. Let's go. It's flat, there's no more stairs. Psych, there's more stairs. Then I thought, this must be our door, right? Oh no, wrong. This must be our door. Nope, still not our door. Come this way. Oh, we've made it. It's home. This is our door. No more stairs, right? <laughs> oh, so wrong. We made it up a million stairs. Okay, only 87, but it feels like a million, especially when you do it a couple times a day. But anyway, the stairs are totally worth it because once you get to the top, you walk in to this charming and rustic old Italian apartment. Let's take a look. Let's do the bathroom first. It's right next to the front door. So it's got like this little closet type sliding door. We can't quite get it to shut all the way. So we just kind of, you know, have to respect each other's private time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but the bathroom's super cute. It's, it's pretty small. So I thought the bathroom in Rome was small. No way. This one is like a little hallway, um, but it's got your toilet, your bidet, sink, and the shower is actually pretty decent size, so we're pretty happy about that. And uh, we got a little creative with the use of space to put our stuff. There were some baskets like around the house, and uh, I just had to grab one of those little baskets and put all our bathroom stuff in there so that we could fit it inside the bathroom. So, um, so far so good there. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Welcome to the grand kitchen. I love this little kitchen. This is like super cute, really charming. It kind of has that old world Italian feel to it with the blue tiles, um, but it still has everything you need. So we've got a four burner gas cooktop with an oven. Um, the quirk about this, I actually have to light it with a lighter. So I turn on the gas and then light it with a lighter. I've, I've been a little close a couple times with, you know, singeing the hair off my fingers, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm getting better. Um, sink, and then they've got lots of storage up high, but if you notice, I kind of can't reach up there. So um, they got creative. Check this out. <laughs> I have to do this. Every time I want a glass, every time I want a bowl, every time I want a plate, anything, it's all up here. So uh, we also have a microwave up here and then this is our refrigerator. Ta-da! <laughs> so it's definitely uh, a change, let's just put it that way. But it's very charming and very cute. I kind of like it. A nice thing about this kitchen is just over off to the side, there's a door. And if you remember from our last vlog about our Airbnb in Rome, we needed a washing machine. Well, we need one here too, but there's no washing machine in the house. Let me show you where it's at. Talk about doing laundry with a view. This is a sweet little patio off the side of our house. We can actually see the Duomo from here. Anyway, this is our washing machine. Ta -da. Okay, so out of the kitchen, we're back in the main living space and 
when you first walk in the door, there's um, kind of a, a lower ceiling. Well, that's not just any ceiling. That's our bedroom. So let's go take a look at that. It's really very cozy up here. The only thing we have to look out for is our heads because this beam is pretty low, even for me. I've bonked my head a couple times, but they've got it padded up for us, so it's no big deal. And then we've got a nice big chest chest of drawers here. Um, we haven't used it because it's kind of hard to like bring our suitcases up here to unpack and stuff, so we've just left our suitcases downstairs and the big armoire down there and we kind of live in and out of that because the bathroom's down there too so it's easier that way but this is our cozy little bed space i really like it the reason i actually booked this particular airbnb wasn't only for the rustic traditional italian feel but it was for this grand view overlooking the city of florence it's absolutely breathtaking Let's go take a look. Mm -hmm. 